from Rome. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Morgan and I'm currently travelling around Rome solo. Today is day five of my travels. It is my last and final full day in Rome. Um, so if you haven't yet seen the rest of my videos, be sure to go back and watch them all. I will link them all down below. And if you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out when I next post. Um, and follow my socials for more content. So, as it is my last and final day in Rome, I have pretty much seen everything I came to Rome to see. All the main sights and things. Um, so this morning, my plan is that I'm going to go grab some breakfast now. And then I'm planning on going to the little town of uh, Trastevere. I hope I said that right. Probably didn't, but we're going to hope for the best. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and explore that. Apparently it's a really quaint little part of Rome that is often overlooked. Right, I've just got my breakfast. Got some granola and fruit and yogurt again because that is just what I like some honey from my yogurt um so i've just been reading and in trastevere apparently every day at midday they have an actual um cannon go off so i'm gonna head over that direction so i think that'd be cool to see um and trastevere is meant to be really good for food as well so that's another bonus. I'm sure I'll pick some things up over there. So, yeah. The weather's looking beautiful today. The sky is blue as anything. And it's currently nine o'clock. Off out we go. It is now uh, 10 a.m. exactly. Um, so, I'm now walking towards uh, Traveste. No, Traver Traveste. Of it. Oh, I forgot what it's called. I'll caption it for you. Anyway, that's where we're heading. I hope you can hear me because it's exceptionally noisy this morning. There's cars and traffic everywhere. I'm guessing it's sort of the ends of rush hour. I don't really know. Do they start work later in Rome? Who knows? Maybe. Potentially. Um, so yeah, but the weather is absolutely gorgeous and I actually think this is probably the warmest it's been so far, like obviously it's early, um, it's early in the morning still so like it's hard to say, but I think it's going to be a lovely day. to you live from Rome. So this is Teatro de Marcello and was started to be built during um, Julius Caesar's time. It was his idea to build it and it used to be a common theatre. <laughs> Um, the literal definition of it means over the river because um, the river's called the river Tib Tibber or Tiber, however you pronounce it and that's what um, Trastevere literally translates to in Greek or Latin um, I can't remember one of the two um, so yeah little fact for you all and I'm really enjoying this walk here. There's just so much to see, just everywhere you look. So, yeah. So I'm currently 
interested in Piazza di Santa Maria and this is the uh, Basil Basilseria oh, I can't say that word um, but of Santa Maria so I'm gonna go inside I just went around the Basilica di Santa Maria um, and it is the, I think if I remember reading correctly, it is the oldest church in Rome dedicated to the Virgin Mary, I think. Um, I will clarify in text on screen because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure but I think that's what I read. So yeah, so I'm just sat outside. I'm actually, like, I've just been sat here for like 10 minutes and now my feet have gone really numb. Like, <laughs> I've got pins and needles in my feet because I was sat with my legs crossed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and explore a bit more heading that way. And then I'm gonna make my way up to the viewpoint where they're meant to be firing the cannon at midday. It's now like quarter past 11, so I've got like 45 minutes. So, that's the plan. Right, well it's a good job I um, came early because I had to make a slight detour because the stairs I was gonna go up when I was following Google Maps, I got to them and then they were like cordoned off. So I'm having to walk, like backtrack a bit and walk the whole way back around. So it's a bit longer, but oh well, I'm seeing some nice sights. Look how pretty they are. That was so funny. Basically, Google Maps isn't working and it keeps trying to get me to walk downhill when like obviously I wanted to go uphill. So there was some dustbin man. So I just went up to them um, <laughs> with my phone with the name of the place on it and I just showed them. And then the guy started talking to me in Italian. Luckily he pointed and he pointed up this road and then he pointed right. <laughs> And then God knows what he said after that, so <laughs> I'm just open for the best. I'm walking forwards where he pointed and I'm gonna turn right and then hope that like, I don't know, I see something and I get there. But um, it's currently half 11 and I need to be there before 12 because that's when the cannon goes off and they only do it once, so knowing my luck I'll miss it, but oh well, it's an adventure. I got to the top of the hill where he pointed and then I've turned right, and the road sign, <sighs> excuse, I'm out of breath. The road sign said the road was called something Gary Baldy, and that's the, where the statue is, where the cannon is, where the cannon goes off. So, hopefully, it is along this road somewhere. And I understood the dustbin man's directions correctly. But I will let you know. Oh my gosh, guys, I can see the statue. We actually made it. Oh, I don't know how, but we did. There it is, everyone. So that's the statue of Victoro. Emmanuel? No. Now I'm thinking I'm completely wrong. No. Oh, complete wrong person. Um, Gary Baldy. Someone Gary Baldy. That's who it is. In my way to go get front row seats for the cannon. I'm not gonna miss this, guys. Here's the cannon, everybody. So we just gotta wait now. There's approximately 17 minutes to go. Just four minutes to go, guys. Oh 
think I've gone deaf. Wow, oh my gosh, that was so cool. Um, okay, right, I've come back up to the top bit and I'm gonna show you guys the view. This is the uh, highest point in the whole of Rome. So the view is insane from up here. the Pantheon. I thought I'd just show you a better view of the uh, Garibaldi statue. It's really hard to see because the positioning of the sun but there we are guys. Just walked part way down the hill to like this other viewpoint here so I'm going to check that out. There's this really pretty looking um, fountain under this monument. So I've just read that hill we were stood on is called the Janusulum Hill. I think that's how you say it. Um, and that's the hill that was most exposed during uh, one of the wars against France. And um, Garibaldi was the person who led the army to their well they were defeated by France but that's why the um, cannon is situated there because that's one of the original cannons from the war right well I am in desperate need of the toilet um, but in typical Roman fashion there's no toilets anywhere so I'm gonna head back into the centre and either find a toilet there or go back to my hotel and then use the toilet there and then head back out um so yeah i think it doesn't help as well where i've like been drinking so much water because like of all the food i've been having it's all really like carb dense and like sort of salty like i've been drinking way more water than normal as well and coming across water that's not a problem in rome because this is the best part about it um because of like the roman aqueducts and everything that were obviously built by the romans um some of them are still intact and all around the city they literally just have um like fountains and stuff i'll have to show you later but they literally just have like fountains with free flowing water coming out of them and it's completely clean completely drinkable like um so yeah if you're in rome take a water bottle out with you don't ever pay to buy water um because all the water you can get for free on the streets from any of the fountains and um like the only fountains you can't drink from are ones that specifically have signs that say do not drink from this fountain if there's no sign then that means it's fine for you to drink so yeah that's a good little tip for you to know if you ever come to Rome look at that for climbing I don't know if you can see that lady but she's currently filling up her bottle from one of the fountains see so there's different types of fountains some of them are like this and you can just drink straight from them and then other ones come up sort of like things off the floor so yeah that is one pro because if you've seen my prague um vlogs you will have seen i spent most of the time going around going oh my gosh i'm so thirsty nowhere sells water because everywhere in prague just sold like alcohol and um like fizzy drinks and stuff nowhere sold just like still water um, but yeah, that's not been a problem in Rome because I've just constantly been able to fill up my water bottle all day. Update time. So, it is now 1.55. Um, I just popped back to the hotel quickly because I was dying for a wee. Anyway, I've had a wee now. Um, so yeah, it's just before 2 o'clock. I'm planning to walk back past like in the direction I was before basically. There's a couple of like buildings over there that I, whilst walking very quickly back to the hotel to go to the toilet, 
um, I passed a couple of buildings that I want to check out. I think one of them might potentially be another church, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go check those out. And then by the time I've done that, it'll probably be time for some lunch. This is the building I was on about, which I'm going to go and check out, this one. And then there's another one just over there, but I'll look at that after. So I'm going to climb all these steps and go and see what it is. We made it. Right, I'm going to go and explore, but before I do, if you looking back out. It was another um, basilica. It said it was of Saint Marie, Maria, but I thought that was the one I went in this morning, so I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna have to check on maps and I will put it in text on the screen what it was because in all honesty, I'm slightly confused. I feel like maybe i don't know maybe the several saint marias because i feel like they've kept being called that anyway i'm gonna go and i'm going back down the steps to go back up another set of steps to go check out the other um building i saw so yeah so i think we're at the capitoline museum that's what all this is um, I'm not entirely sure. So I haven't been in this museum, but um, I have read that it is highly recommended. And it's meant to be really good. Uh, so I might go in, but I'm gonna have to think about it. Um, I'm gonna have a wander around for a bit, and then I will see. Potentially I will, potentially I won't. I've come to here and I'm gonna look at more of the Roman Forum I didn't get around to looking at the other day because it is massive so yeah so I think this is the temple of um, oh, who did it say it was Vas uh, Titus and Vaspian this is one of the honorary and triumphant arcs that um, was from Augustus to Constantino times. Oh, so I'm glad I've seen that. So that was actually more of the Roman Forum that I was at a couple of days ago. So I couldn't go back in there now because you have to have a ticket and obviously my ticket's expired now. Um, but that just shows you the size of it. Like I didn't even get to look around that bit the other day. Obviously I've still seen it now because you can see it from the balconies. I just couldn't physically go down and back inside. But like I was in there for a good few hours that day and I feel like there's only so much of it you can sort of look at at once and take in. Um, so yeah. Right, little update. I'm now on the very far side of town because I was walking towards Trevi and then I was like, actually, I could do the toilet again. Um, <laughs> and so I looked up where the nearest one was and it was like a 0.8 mile walk. So yeah, so now I found myself here. But I'm gonna get something to eat now because I'm very hungry. Hey guys, it is now five past four. I've just come to this place called Appetito and picked myself up a supple and then the other one's a another form of a supple but like a Casio y pate one. So they look like this. They're like fried balls in effect. I think this is the original supple one. Mm-hmm. So it's like 
um, rice with like mozzarella and tomato sauce. So good. So now I'm gonna try the cassio y pepper. Oh my god. It's like literally eating pasta in a like put together thing. So okay, it's now like 25 past four um, and I'm actually gonna stop looking at sites for a bit. I've seen there's a massive Zara that's like five floors. So I'm gonna go and do a bit of shopping. Um, whether I will spend any more money or not, I don't know because I don't really want to. But at the same time, this Zara is massive. So if I do see something I like, then I will pick it up. Here it is, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, it is now quarter to six. Um, as you can see, it's dusk. I think the sun sets in like 10 minutes or something. But anyway, I was a long time in there. It was safe to say it was a very big Zara. Um, I bought one top, so I did get like, <laughs> bearing in mind I went in the changing rooms with I think seven tops and a pair of jeans. But yeah, I, uh, I just bought the one. Um, so yeah, now I'm not entirely sure what I plan to do. Um, I want to go and see the Coliseum tonight because I haven't seen it at dark yet. So when the sun sets, I'm gonna go do that. And then I will get some food later. Um, I think I'm gonna head to Trevi, go and chill there for a bit. And then I'll update you in a bit. My favourite place. Okay, I had a change of plan. So I've come to this restaurant, the same one I was in last night, but I'm sat inside tonight. Um, and I've come to get some food now. It's half six, so I've just placed my order. I'm going for pasta tonight. I saw some of the pasta dishes that people were bringing out yesterday, and they looked amazing, so. Hence, I'm back again, getting pasta instead of pizza. Um, so, yeah. And then afterwards, I plan to go to the Coliseum. So lighting's awful in here, but anyway, guys, here's my spaghetti. It doesn't look very good on this camera at all. It's 7.35 and I just finished my meal. Well, about 10 minutes I've been walking. Um, yeah, it was nice. I must admit though, it wasn't the best pasta I've had since arriving in Rome. So I had spaghetti bolognese because I was like, you can't really come to Italy and not have spaghetti bolognese. So that's what I ordered. Um, part of me is like, mm, I should have ordered one of the other pastas really because I was seeing some of the other things be bought out and other people's food looked better. I had full on food envy, but <laughs> never mind. It was still nice. I'm not a big fan of spaghetti bolognese normally anyway, so. <clears throat> oh well. Um, but yeah, so I'm just walking down to the Coliseum now to go to it to, uh, can't get my words out, to go see it in the dark. Uh, I'll take a few pictures, chill down here for a bit, and then I'll walk back into the centre. So, yeah. 
we are guys Coliseum at night um, also I love how at night because of all the lighting on it you can see all the, the holes in the side where the molten iron used to be um, and then obviously they've taken it out over time um, I think that's really cool final view of the Colosseum on this trip to Rome oh so sad that I fly home tomorrow I came back to Trevi I tried out a new gelato shop and this is insane um, so I got tiramisu and then nut chocolate lovely okay guys I'm now back in my hotel room so that's gonna end it for today's video but before I do, I just want to comment on that gelato. Oh my gosh. I think it's safe to say I saved the best till last. Like, aesthetically it looked the best. Taste, like, in terms of the texture and, like, the consistency of the gelato, it was the best. And, like, the flavours, the chocolate nut, that was probably one of my favourite flavours I've had. So, all in all, yeah. Um, save the best till last but I might get one more tomorrow before I fly home uh, so my flight for tomorrow is scheduled at 5 p.m. so I need to be at the airport for 3 so I probably need to be leaving here like Rome at like 2 yeah 2 o'clock um, so yeah I We'll film a couple of bits and bobs tomorrow morning, um, but there won't be too much content because obviously I've done everything, but I'm going to go back to some of my favourite places tomorrow and just chill. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. My plan now is I'm going to go into the centre and I'm going to get some breakfast in town. And then I'm just going to chill out, like, go back to a couple of my favourite spots and, you know, one last time say goodbye to them all. Um, so, yeah. Time to go check out, guys. Okay, guys, so I've just checked out my hotel. The time now is 20 past nine and I'm just walking down to the Trevi Fountain. So I thought this morning... Um, there's basically one more pastry I want to try whilst I'm in Rome. So I thought rather than have hotel breakfast, I will go and buy said pastry for my breakfast. So I think it's called a Mar Marazzoni. Um, but yeah, I was told it's typical Roman pastry that you have to have when you come to Rome. So I'm gonna go to Trevi Fountain, buy that and sit and eat it down there. So I will update you all shortly. Good morning from Trevi. Oh, gorgeous as ever. Here we are, that's what I want to get. Uh, Marzola. I've got the pastry and I'm just going to sit and eat it with this perfect view. Guys, this is unreal. Good. I got the pistachio flavoured one as well. It's lush. I actually think this might be one of the nicest things I've had this whole time and now I'm like, why didn't I try it sooner? really quickly because they were actually taking quite a while to make my pizza um, and then because I was trying to eat the pizza so quickly 
I burnt the whole roof of my mouth on said pizza. But it's okay guys, it was a very nice pizza. Anyway, it's 12.52. I'm gonna buy the ticket, then walk back to my... Hello, Italy! <laughs> Class. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna walk back to my hotel, grab my bags then get the bus and then get the train to the airport. So yeah, I'll update you guys in a bit. Okay, I got the ticket. It's three minutes past one, um, which means I've probably got about half an hour or so before I need to leave. Um, so there's one more place I wanna stop off. I need to get another gelato, just one more gelato before I go. So that's what we're gonna do. A little later. Right guys, it is now 1.42. I successfully got the bus to the station. Um, so yeah, now I just need to work out what train I need to get. And then, get the train to the airport. So yeah, I've got plenty of time, all good. That was the most stressful bit of the journey, trying to work out how the bus ticket situation works. Okay, I'm successfully on the train. So yeah, now I've just got a half hour train ride to the airport. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this Rome vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and if you have be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also comment down below what your favourite part was. Um yeah and if you haven't already subscribed be sure to do so i have more trips on the way so yeah stay tuned